Okay, so installation is finished. Now we need to restart the machine and replace the Snow Leopard DVD with the Empire EFI CD again. The one that you chose in the beginning. So, here we go. Okay, now that we boot back into Empire EFI, now you can see the hard drive where you installed your Snow Leopard. Before you didn't see that. Now we just select that and hit enter. And we should wait until the first installation until it boots into Snow Leopard. I will not have any sound, so you will not hear the uh, OS 10 startup sound <clears throat> because of my motherboard being so weird. Um, the sound drivers, the Voodoo sound drivers, will not work. Uh, until I install them directly from the OS from the Snow Leopard partition once it's booted so um, it, might, it will defer from machine to machine it might work on yours but it definitely don't work on mine So here we are. You can choose your language. Uh, I have my settings from my other Mac uh, hard drive, but I'm not going to do that right now. You can skip this process by holding Command and hit Continue, but I'm just going to put my uh, my username in there. Voila. We are in Snow Leopard. Ten point five point six. Right now it's only detecting one gigabyte of RAM, but I have four. After I install the bootloader, that will go away. You install the bootloader by going into the Empire EFI. Double click on that. Going to extra post installation my hack installer. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna hit customize, and this is gonna work from a particular motherboard it will be different from yours so I suggest you to do a little research before you uh, even intend to install Snow Leopard into your machine uh, that, that. like I mentioned uh, I didn't know if I mentioned I spent a week installing Snow Leopard in, into my second hard drive and tried it out finding out the easiest way that everything will work so this is gonna take about 10 minutes you gotta authenticate okay if this is the first time you install Snow Leopard on your hard drive you'll need to go to the Apple site and download the combo update See, I'm downloading it right now. Before you can do anything, um, don't allow the automatic update to install. Otherwise, you'll get a kernel panic. You gotta do this combo update. Okay, so now the installation is done. You can just close and restart your machine. 
but we gotta first boot to the BIOS and set up our Snow Leopard hard drive to be our main hard drive. So, so now I'm booting to my BIOS by hitting the delete key. Again, some machines require F2, F1. So you can check your machine for that. We're gonna select our boot priorities, boot device to be the hard drive. And just to make sure that this is the hard drive we want, yes, it's our second hard drive, the smallest one. Hit F10 to save. And we are booting into our Snow Leopard hard drive without the Empire FI CD. It's booting directly from the hard drive. Next step is to install the, uh, the combo update. And this is what I find out the times that I did it. I installed the combo update, reboot the machine, bam, kernel panic. There's a fix from my, uh, I have an NVIDIA 9500 GT. For some reason, the NVIDIA drivers get corrupted during the combo update, so you need to install them also.